Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Fox Out Gaming. Today, we're going to be doing a level 40 Joey farming deck. So, all we're going to be doing is running the regular Cerberus deck, but in this case, you definitely will need a Bissell Designator because he does play Time Wizard, and that will screw your life up if he gets the coin toss because obviously, Time Wizard's going to kill your Cerberus. Um, we have the Abyssal Designator for that, and we'll run a couple of, uh, Eat 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 kaboon. I don't know how you say it, but um, if you have this on the field and he plays his time wizard, flip summon, regular summon, it's just gonna kill him. So easy peasy. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. We are going first. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got a javelin, so this will be alright. Might as well throw down this enemy controller. I put an enemy controller in because I have a... Whatever you call them. Shiny, extra shiny one. Prismatic. So, I put that in there for extra 200 points. Plus, it helps with this... The beginning, taking damage and drawing your Cerberus and whatnot. So, he played 1,000... Ooh. He's going hard this first turn, isn't he? Go ahead and use this on a <sighs> thousand year dragon also gain some life points. We're not gaining some life points. You know what I mean. We're <laughs> we're not taking his damage, even well, I just wanted to play the javelin to get the hundred points. Now we can just stack up attack on Cerberus, and we will be just fine. And we have 2,200 life points, which is perfect. We'll gain 400, then we'll lose 2,500, and we'll be right at that 100. Get even more assessment points. Okay, we got a Bizzle Designator, which is perfect. Now we will get that last. Oh yeah, he's speaking of. Um, if you don't know, Time Wizard is a light spellcaster, so make sure you choose that. We got his last one out because I believe, yeah, Time Wizard is needed for a thousand years dragon, thousand dragon, whatever he's called. Now we're just gonna pass turn until we get that extra Cerberus. And we pretty much have nothing else to worry about. I did get to activate the Enchanted Javelin. So that should give us our extra 100 points in the trap section. So we don't need to place any eat the Gabons or whatever. Especially since he doesn't have any more time with it. We wouldn't even be able to activate it. Okay, we're going to activate this. Well, no. Let's not activate it. Let's wait for our other Cerberus. Because our first Cerberus is sitting pretty, um, nobody can really, none of his monsters can touch him. It's good to have, uh, Shards of Greed, though, or any other form of drawing that you have, or can have. I'm not sure how much there is, really, but, um, only because... Uh, you're thinning out his deck a little bit when you're using the Abyssal Designator. Which can be bad. Because you do want to have no cards before he has no cards, obviously. So if you have Shard of Greed, make sure you use that. I know the... Oh yeah. Well, he's already gotten rid of his uh, Time Wizard, so I didn't need to do that. Um, let's go ahead and activate this shard of greed. Typically, I wait till the end, but it doesn't matter. Um, storm. Um, you might be wondering why I'm running that, because it's not a typical thing. But I like to clear out the back row, my back row specifically. Say I had like two eat gaboons or whatever on the field, or an enchanted javelin still sitting there. I just like to get rid of it. 
mine's shiny, so I get an extra 100 points, plus, um, yeah, just clear some space, gives a Cerberus 500 attack, it's not that bad. But you don't have to use that. Basically, Cerberus is kind of like the most, um, ooh. Wow. How annoying. I didn't think he would activate that, considering I would gain 500 points. Well, that's inconvenient. I think he just knocked my other servers down, like 1,500 attack. Nah. That's another thing. Against Joey, Storm is hilarious, because you get to... You get to uh, make him... He'll just activate any graceful dice in the back row. So you get extra points on your Cerberus. I'm only using Twister on my own Storm because I want to subtract my own life points. And uh, there's nothing really face up to kill. So. Pretty positive that loss of points on the second Cerberus isn't gonna matter in the end. But we'll see. Two Ryokus, you should be fine. Um, if you are running one Ryoku, though, you might be a little under in this situation for the 10,000 attack. Uh, last shard of greed. I'm actually not gonna be able to play it. Or activate it, rather. Because we're not going to have enough cards in the bottom of our deck. But, hey, it's extra attack, so who cares. And then one more turn. Now we play everything we got. Let's go ahead and give him these life points. Um, let's go ahead and put a Sword of Deep Seated. You can use really any equip card. I like to use Sword of Deep Seated just in case he does use Shield and Sword. I think it's what's called where he switches your attack and defense. Um, 1900 defense is, I think, plenty for... What he's got, you could come into a situation where he will shield and sword before he would play a monster. Say he shield and swords, and then he plays gear freed. Well, even then, if you have sort of deep seated, you would be fine. Uh, you don't have to, but you might run into some problems with that in the future. Anyways, uh, Ryoku, start having this guy's attack. Boom, boom, oh, make sure you click the right one. And as long as your uh, big Cerberus uh, gets over, I believe, 10,000, so let's see, it's going to subtract, yeah, as long as he's 10,500 attack, you can play the bow on him and he'll still have 10,000 attack. Because it's only going to subtract 500 instead of 1,000. Because when you play him, obviously you're going to get 500. And then, yeah, that's all there is to it. You can also use block attack if you so wish and don't have a bow. We're going to enter battle phase. And make sure you hit the right arrow to attack directly. And I, it'll, it's either going to be... Whoops, hit the log button. It's either going to be uh, 7,800, 7,900, 8,000. I'm always in that range. It's probably going to be 8,000 since I got to play a trap, a foil trap. We'll see, though. Yep, 8,100. Um, no good drops, it seems. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Joey farming. It's pretty easy. Um, I think he has Time Wizard, he has Metal Morph that you can get. But yeah, just run your regular Cerberus deck, add those few cards to take care of Time Wizard, and you're good to go. So, this is Fox Eye Gaming. Like, subscribe, watch another video, swipe right, whatever you want to do. See you guys next time.